So all that measuring, after you cut, you have to re-cut, re-measure and re- That's cool. You know what? That little notch is going to be cool. The bird's going to like grab right onto that. They're going to be like, what the hell They're going to say, my, bird, my nest has a notch on the top. <laughs> Glue? It's a bird swimming pool. Okay, so now the next thing you do is you do it. Okay, yeah, you want to mark. Mark the end. Now use those two dots as. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So is there another step to do? Yeah, we have to put the roof on and screw it in. So how do you do that? Do you know how to do it? Yeah, we have to wait for that to dry first. Flip it. Put screws to it. Do you have the bottom in? Oh, the bottom has glue on it already? Come around. So, cool. So you, you think you can't, is this right, the way it's out? Yeah. Yeah, it's because somebody... Oh, because the not bottom, me. the bottom's a little too big, is that I the problem? No, yeah, so this is too big and they didn't tell us to cut the sides. You don't want to fix that? No, we already glued it. Okay. When we bring it back to the school, we're going to come back with sandpaper and you're going to smooth that out. Back to school? We're taking this to school with us? Yes. Oh. We're going to smooth it. We're going to sand it and make it smooth like this. Yeah. Sweet. I love this stuff. Chrissy, did you make any holes yet? Yes. Yeah. One right here. Nice. So you guys are ready to glue? They're, they've glued already. You glued it and everything? Um, it, what's the next step? Is there? Do they have to clamp it or anything? Yeah, yeah you should get some, get some clamps. Okay. Uh, get the bottom in. All right. Yeah. So I, what I would do is. Uh, uh, because it's so not, while it's still. Do you see? Listen, you're talking to a boat builder. Let me get some clamps. Do you? While it's still loose like that, is it worth cutting this bottom piece a little more so that you don't? So it doesn't go out. Um, well, you'd have to get a new bottom piece because oh. of the glue. Okay. Never mind. Good. It was fine, and now you're holding it because it was on the Well, it wasn't clamps. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, but uh, still, you should have left it on this side because it's not holding it. Right <laughs> can't put clamps away. <laughs> I, would get, I would get smaller. Smaller ones. This is what I think. That one's fine. Get the ones. See the ones with the black and yellow handle? So, Stephanie, could you, or one of you help? I don't know. Find the clamps. It doesn't look like it's in the middle. Of it. Oh, is that your seven-inch line? Yeah. Now you need. Now you need to go to the. Now you need the middle of that line. What do you mean? That's where we're at. Oh. Wait, wait. What? So yeah, explain. Oh, this is seven inches, right? Yeah. Okay. So you made an X, but your X was just like. <laughs> if I said make an X on in the middle, you just made an X on the wall or something. Like that. <laughs> so it would be. So you had you had the you had the two instructions right, she but they didn't go together. <laughs> and she even knew that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right there. That's the middle. No, that don't look like the middle, right? So who's ready to glue? Gluing's the next step here. Uh oh. Here's the man at the machine again. He's the man. Yeah, he is the man. You guys ready to glue yet? Oh, come on, come on, come on. We've got half an hour left. And then we go to the other side? Yeah. How do we start the street? We're watching the, when the park. Mm -hmm. Wait until you see. You're going to see how it's going to go to the park? I don't know. It's funny because it's nothing like... You have to make the hole. How do you make the hole? With a drill. Stephanie knows how to do it. Would you ask her, please? No. I'll ask her then. Come, come with me. Where's the drill? Yeah. Where is the drill? Here. Why do I have this? Stephanie, can you help with the drill? Or you're clamping? Can, can you help with the drill or do you need to help there? Okay. I'm a drill He'll help you. I'm a drill Jeff will help you.
Any goggles? So the middle of this has a little point. That point is going to go right there. Natalie, do you need goggles, son? Maybe? Sure. Thank you. So to line it up, you're going to bring this into exactly where you want it, and then you can bring this down to get it closer so you can get the point right in the right spot. Okay. So. Natalie, I want you to show other people in case Jeff's not available, okay? So, got it? How am I supposed to, to put the what? See the point <laughs> yeah. from the bit? Yeah. That has to go right on. Do so I have to bring it down? Yeah, bring this, spin this, see if you spin this, this towards you, yep. Once you have it lined up, make sure with your left hand you hold the piece tight. Because you're the one that's going to keep it from moving. Hold the piece down, and you're going to we're going to turn it on, and then you're going to just go into. Now it's going to be spinning, so you're going to just bring it towards you and go into the. What do you mean, piece. bring it towards me? Okay, this, yeah, just yeah. like what I did right now. Yeah, just what you did. I leave it there. Well, it'll drill in as you go down. You go down. Okay. 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 Little bit at a time. find clamps before you start gluing? Okay, let me show you. Right, you might want to adjust it a little bit to see if you can line up the tops. Uh -huh. So you have to loosen your clamps up a little bit to do that. I'll do it. Let me go. All right. And then, ideally, if you have two clamps on the top and two clamps on the bottom. So, can you ask where the clamps are? Okay. So, do you like cauliflower? Cauliflower? Wait till you see your lunch today, then. It's going to be a very evil lunch. Cauliflower. It's, it's it's pretty spicy, but it's good. Oh, it's spicy. Yeah, see, this is glue. Come, look. Come on, get your kicks. You don't need So you're gonna glue it and then draw it later. Okay. See how? Look at this. See their their screws on top. So you have clamps. You have glue. Yes. Go for it. Wait, I gotta finish them. I wanna ask a question, I don't think. Okay. I'll get this right. Uh, why not? I don't know, this one looks more. Okay. Just, uh, I mean, if you just check that. Looking good, guys. Ready to drill? Thanks, Paul. Yeah. Oh, he is. <laughs> what do you mean? I want you to try. These guys are good. Look at that. They are good. Okay. You ready to cut, drill, 
Sure. Glue, clamp, sand. Are they on? Do you have the angles on all Why can't you drill? Like a cross Oh, come on. Instead of going okay. down like this, you want to start from here and go down there. Okay. And is it lined up the way you like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to need to bring it down just is it? Uh -oh. bring it back just a little bit <laughs> so that, yeah. Because you don't start on the wood. You start in front of the wood and then push through it. Okay? All right, now, it's right where you want it to be. Hit it. Uh, wait okay. a minute. This gum always wants to be. That keeps your wood from working. Oh, we'll see that too. Go ahead and push all the way through it. You guys ready to glue yet? Uh, no, we need to make the hole. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Seven inches from the bottom. Seven inches. Yeah, I can use this. What are you doing? Oh, go ahead. Well, I gotta cut this. Be careful. Do you know everything to do? This is wood degrees. Okay. So you want to set up the saw to uh, 45 degrees. See the 45? Yep. Yep. And when you get it there, you got to tighten it really tight. It moves when you have it, when you have it like this. Other direction. Yep. Really tight. Guys, hmm? I... You won't be able to cut it on the shell, so if you want to sand that down, it's really good. Yeah, enjoy it. It's actually with sanding. It is not... See, the line... Wait, are you sure your line's not off? Wait, you guys might need to... The thing... When, when I do this, right, the line goes past it. A little. Wait, I'm gonna line it up. I don't know. I was cutting on some shit. Gotta bring that down. Do you see how the, the red line is crooked? Yeah. So, is there a way I can still go like that? Well, if the saw is on 45 degrees, my guess is your line is your line is off, but it's actually the saw is right. So the line, this line is off. Well. I that, think that so. would be my guess. If the saw is still, if it if it still looks like it over here on your gauge, it's at 45. Oh wait, it moved. Yeah. 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 yeah you have to get it really, really, really tight. But also, if it were 45. These two would be equal, and that one's a little shorter. So go with the saw. Yeah. Trust the, the saw. You have to get it super tight. The saw's on his legs. legs. That? I know what that expression relates to. Being on his last leg. Yeah. So just do me a favor after you line up, just hold it yeah a little bit more to your don't don't have your hands so much on the piece if you can. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. This way? I'm gonna cut it. Yeah, that's fine how you are. <laughs> Just line it up the exact way you had the other one lined up, and you'll be consistent. Ready? Go for it. 
guess we do that part this time. Since it's set up, do you want to do your corners first? Yeah, we can do that one. Yeah, but just cut it out to make sure we got it all. I think it's already set up for the corners. Let's just check. So, so my guess is if your line's a little off, because this is, you see how there's there's no space in here, so it's not going to be nice and square. So then, then I would go, I would leave it. I think the lines, I think the lines are a little crooked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the other thing that, though, that, um, that we can do here is um, we can do your corners. So let's just mark these real quick. So basically, see how the saw the um, I'm sorry the uh, square is at the two. So you just go spin it, line it up to the two every time. So, yeah. do we have to, we're going to have to troubleshoot the fact that we're not quite finished.